Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the mill. Uh, what we got, or what we had, was a 13 foot red oak. It was 40 inches on one end and 48 on the other. Had a big old bale. Uh, wasn't worth the effort trying to saw it. I mean, that log was incredibly heavy. Our big tractor, you know, it grunted picking it up. So uh, we tried to uh, split it with uh, some some uh, boom powder. I believe I purchased the wrong kind last time. It just didn't have the uh, strength it needed. So unfortunately, Matthew and I resorted, uh, resorted to uh, chainsaw wedges and <clears throat> got it split, dropped it off the force of the tractor half a dozen times to get it to crack. Then we made quarters out of it. So we've we've made a boogered up mess, but we're gonna fix it. We're gonna run it through the mill. Customer is only looking for one by whatevers. So whatever we get would be great. Uh, <clears throat> log wasn't super quality anyway. It was a uh, fence line tree. It growed uh, very quick. Had a little bit of heart rot on one end. So we're gonna make the best out of a bad situation here, but we, Appreciate you watching and we'll be right back. Okay guys, uh, you see Matthew uh, carefully get that onto the mill. This is one quarter and it's this tall. That was a big piece of wood. So if, if it all been the other end, nice and round, I'd have put it up there and sawed it, you know, at 40 inches. But with this big old bale out of it and the, the weight uh, and the number of times we was gonna have to roll it over and over, it just wasn't practical. So we got it loaded. I got the, uh, mill loaded with a Woodbizer Turbo 7 55 thousandths. Uh, it's a thicker blade. We love those. We buy them from uh, Joe Main and Industrial Cutting Tools. You need any blades, give those guys a, a call. Uh, Joe's info will be in the description below. We really, really work, enjoy working with them. Uh, this blade's uh, been used already. We sawed some pine with it, but we're gonna run it as long as we can here. Uh, when it gets dull, we'll put nothing on. So let's make some sawdust.
Okay guys, we finished up that uh, second quarter. Uh, got a new blade on there. Got our third quarter up here. This is probably the smaller one, so it'll be a lot of waste in it, but it's gotta go anyhow. Uh, kind of stock and start day. I just heard another customer drive in, so. Uh, we're gonna take care of them, and uh, when that's done, we'll come back and uh, solve this up. Be back in a minute. Okay guys. Uh, you viewers uh, watching our stuff, you never know what's going to happen around here. Uh, sun switch sides, it's on this side of the building. It's actually the next day. Uh, told you had a customer come up, we'd be right back. Well, that was that took till almost 5 o'clock, and then uh, I wasn't ready to come back to this. Matthew had to take off, so. Uh, I got to put the bucket on the other tractor. You can see it sitting here naked. Put the bucket on, move that last 20 ton of ballast. Uh, hard to believe there's a hundred ton of ballast in a spot about 30 foot wide and hundred foot long, but that's what it took it. What's what it took to fill it up. So hopefully here in a few months, we get a few loads of gravel on it. Something that's a little easier to walk on. That ballast is like walking on bowling balls, big old chunks. But uh, we got the last two quarters here we're gonna do. Uh, this one's gonna be a little wasteful because of the way it split, but it's still, we'll get what we can out of it. We got these two quarters and one log for this job, and we'll move on to something else. So, thanks for t staying tuned, and uh, we'll get back to work finally.
Okay, guys. Uh, if you just seen, we got chopped through all that. Uh, this fourth quarter was good. That's an excellent piece of wood. The third quarter, when we split it, it kind of wanted to go across the grain, and it it messed it up a little bit. But uh, we've still yielded pretty good. Uh, we got these woman tens over here, and the rest of them Matthews aged. Well, this customer needs the bundles to be a little bit smaller where they can handle them with a uh, smaller tractor. So we only went seven layers. Uh, he should be able to handle that. Uh, our big girl, you know, she can handle the whole stack, but we try to take care of customers. Uh, whew, let's get stacking. Okay hey guys, uh, that's gonna do it. Matthew and I got, uh, got the rest of it stacked up. Uh, it didn't yield too bad. I was actually surprised. Uh, got 500 board feet out of that one uh, almost 13 foot log. Uh, we wasted a little bit of the heartwood because of where we cut it, but heartwood's not normally that good in red oak anyway. So I think it's a win-win for the customer. They got a whole bunch of beautiful clear uh, 10 inch wide boards and then most of this top layer about half of it is what Matthew edged that customer said one by whatever so that's what he did he got five six seven eight nine tens <laughs> you know got a Duke's mix of them but uh, that's gonna be it for this video sorry it took uh, you know two days to kind of go through it but that's the way life is uh, we appreciate you watching if you would take the opportunity to like subscribe if you don't mind share the video it really helps and uh we appreciate your comments got any comments or questions leave them in the description below i got a question for you uh what would you think about some bearded lumber swag we've been looking at it uh a little something to get into especially at our our level but uh we may consider it but uh leave your answers below guys that's gonna do it uh, matthew and i greatly appreciate it and uh we'll see you back at the mill Thank you for watching. Here's a video selection and a playlist suggestion. Click here to subscribe for more great content. We'll see you at the mill.